Hello everybody and welcome to another video Anno 1800 and welcome to our first of our no DLC let's play um, and we're gonna have a lot of fun here so here we go we're gonna play on medium I, I'm not too big fan of playing on expert sometimes because I think sometimes it can be a bit meh so I like to uh, play on it on medium because you get a starting island we don't have to scavenge your islands or find anything out like that so I'm just gonna start off by sending my ship off in a big circle to kind of have an explore of the map. Simple as that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off by drawing like a little line across here. We're gonna put our marketplace right down in the middle. Um, and then we're just gonna build houses around it. So let's go with that. So let's get around. And let's zoom in a little bit because it's better to see. Uh, and let's go with uh, three on this side, three on this side. And let's go across the top as well. Uh, it's going to leave a little gap, so actually I, was, I want to move this, to be honest, and it's going to cost a little bit of money, but I want it to be like that, to be honest, so that's looking good. And obviously we'll be able to street around it as well. Perfect. That's a good start for us, I think, for now. We're going to get ourselves up next, our lumberjack production, which I'm going to put over here in the corner. Um, so we're just to start with, I'm just going to do one. Um, I know it's probably not most ideal. But I just want to do one to start with because I just want to get going. Um, and I don't want to be really scrapped for cash right this second. There we go. Now I'm going to change how this island looks a lot during this playthrough. I'm going to, I've got an idea in mind how I want my town to look. Um, so we will get down to a point where we're going to be building as we go. So something to be mindful of as we play. So let's keep going. Uh, let's get another one up here. And this is going to reduce our uh, count of villagers. There we go. We need another sawmill, which is going to go down there. Uh, and then we're going to need to build some more villagers. So let's go uh, expand out again. We get two on that side. And it's just going to take a little while to kind of ramp up. And that's fine. It will take a while, um, but we'll get there uh, for sure. So we're up to two now. Um, these guys are just planting the last couple of trees. And then we'll have two sets of tons coming in. Um, Thank you. Um, there we go, like, we're gonna produce eight a minute. So I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Once we've got enough villagers, of course. So we'll keep on going with that. Um, let's keep building our streets. So I wanna try and keep a, a kind of groups of two going this way like that. And then have that doing on the other side. So once we get enough, uh, we'll be able to do that. Uh, I think we unlock fish at 50 workers, so 50 farmers, sorry. So we, we're kind of not going to get there quite yet. We're just going to keep building. Um, and I want to put another one finally over here. That's going to give us that extra worker we want. Uh, over there like that. I think that's actually not connected, so let's do that. And then we just need one more sawmill, which is going to go down just here. And that's now an equal ratio because this is 15 seconds to 15 seconds. So I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's upgrade this farm in a second once we get that next bit of tum timber. Tumber? Next bit of timber! Wait, which way for this next bit of timber to come in? Come on, come on. Let's take a little while to get going. Like, I could speed up, but I want to play it on real time, to be honest, because uh, it does get quite hectic quite quick once you get going, And but the start of the game is quite slow. Uh, so we're just waiting for that, that one bit of lumber to come in. It should be long now. Um, so we've already found the pirates, they're over here, um, so we could take them down eventually. Uh, we found another island over here, which has got peppers and hops, but it's very small. Uh, and this island has furs, which is good, but not quite what we're looking for right this second. Right, so let's go and upgrade this one, get some more workers in. And we're nearly there to that 50, we're on 49, so in a minute we'll be able to, there we go, do fish. So let's get ourselves a fishery. There we go. And fisheries are again are really simple. Um, they just produce fish every minute. I think it's two, two a minute, I think, on full speed. Uh, they're still kind of working up their efficiency. But at full speed, they'll produce two a minute, and uh, that's fine for us. We don't need to worry about that. We just need more farmers now because obviously, fishery takes workers, takes farmers as workers, should we say. So again, we're just waiting for that timber to come in, but we've got a really good kind of setup here. Um, later on, I'm going to try and change this to make it into a bit more of a, a, a more optimal setup. We're going to have two of these 
and then one like kind of section with loads of sawmills around the warehouse and that's going to be better for us than this because it just and it kind of eats into their percentage these sawmills kind of eats into the lumberjacks percentages so that's something to be bearing in mind uh so let's kind of plan out i'm going to go into blueprint mode all the time and we're going to plan out our town so let's go uh go three here and three here and then we can go into the streets mode and we can just connect that up there we go and then as soon as we get enough we'll be able to put in some more workers more farmers so like that nice and good okay so we're just gonna keep on going we're gonna build up uh, up to workers and then we'll start we'll probably change how um the structure of the island looks because at the moment obviously we've got plenty of room we've got lots of uh, iron lots of clay lots of coal lots of oil and we've got peppers over here as well which is great um but we haven't got hops so we'll need to get an island to get hops eventually so let's have a look at this island uh this one's got hops this one has hop this is probably the one we want to get so but we need to bear that in mind do i uh is that enough to build on i, don't, I can't remember I think that might be enough. Let's bring Endeavor over here anyway. And we'll find out in a minute. And we'll be able to actually build our second island already, which would be nice. I know we won't be able to do anything with it yet. But we just don't have the, the, the... Well, we don't have the lumber, that's for sure. Let's upgrade a few more. There we go. That's going to give us a little bit of an abundance of farmers, which is great. And I didn't mean to do that at all. I'm still connected to the ship, aren't I? So that was stupid of me. Right. Let's set up my camera views now so I can actually... S and if you don't know this, uh, you press Control and F, uh, Control, uh, Alt and F5, I think it is, or Control F5, sorry, Control F5 will save your uh, island view. And then if I go over here and then press F5, it brings me back to my um, island, which is really useful. Because if, for example, this is going to be our second island, which is quite far away, um, I'm going to we want to have this as our F6 view. So if you go F5. Uh, well, that's not F5, that's F5. And then we go like that. And I've also got the ship set to 5. So actually, I can just skip over to the ship as well. And it's just, oh, yeah, we can. So let's just build it nice and square here, like that. Perfect. That's great. So we've got that island. So we've got access to hops now. And that's what we really need. So I'm really glad for that. Let's go and carry on our sailing. Um, let's just go all the way around like this. And then we'll explore in the middle. All right, so our population's gone up quite a lot because we've now got fish coming in, so that's good. Uh, they're missing goods, not sure why. Um, they've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so we're good, we're good there. Uh, so we need to get on with our next thing now, which is to get on to work clothes. Um, and work clothes uh, is really simple. It's literally just one-to-one -one again, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So in order to do this, we need to build kind of like a warehouse, um, and then we're going to have our kind of framework knitters on the round and then we'll have uh, the sheep farms around that as well so so if we go for our sheep farms to start with so if we build one uh let's go over here we'll build one sheep farm here we're in blueprint mode so we won't need to worry um so we're going to go that and then we're going to pick the fields they're going to they have three fields so if we zoom right in um take more time we don't need to worry about speed or anything like that um I'm thinking we go something like this and then like this and like this so they sit behind them and then that should if i'm right should fit the framework knitter perfectly in like that which is exactly what we want and then that should allow us to build the warehouse just like that and that should fit nicely in as like a little group and then we should be able to get the little streets in as well so like the little street uh, get a little street out here and then it can go all the way around and that's like a little module that I've just created there so we can then expand that uh, every time so that's and honestly I think making modules is a really good idea so if you can do it you know make a module so I'm just going to bring this round all the way down here like that and connect it up and so I'm going to build the small warehouse first because we need that for sure then I'm going to build the sheep farms and then the framework knitters so we have the framework knitters in now and you see they've reduced two a minute so we're going to keep on with that to reducing two a minute and that's essential for farmers because farmers require that to be happy and if they're happy then we can upgrade them and which is what we need to do to start breaking some money um so that's work close um we can then obviously expand that as time goes on 
Then we, next we have schnapps, um, which we need to do the same sort of thing, but we also need more farmers first before we can do that, because we only have six farmers. Right? So let's build uh, another module of streets. Let's build the houses first. Let's go there. And let's just put street around it. There we go. And then we'll upgrade that. And then we'll have another great big set of, of farmers. Uh, so schnapps again, we've got one to one, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So with the schnapps, it's really simple. Um, it's literally just a warehouse in the middle. Um, so let's put them over, let's do them over here. We'll have one schnapps, uh, sorry, one warehouse. And then we'll do a little, we're going to build a little uh, uh, road around it. Let's delete that. Uh, if it lets me, there we go. Um, and then what we need is, uh, actually no, we will need that street actually, if they're good about it. Uh, we won't need that, oh, it's our mud and kahina. Okay, so we're going to build the warehouse like this, and then we're going to put the potato farm. Uh, one in kind of in each corner. So we're going to have one here and one here. This is going to be for two. So we're going to build, we don't need to build this right now. And we're going to build the farm all the way around like this. Um, that's how it's going to work in my mind. Uh, maybe, no, that's way, oh, that's way too much, sorry. I don't need to build it that far down. You'll see why in a second, because I'll show you when I build the Schnapps distillery. So the Schnapps distillery will fit just perfectly in like that. And then what we can do is we can get the potato farm to kind of wrap around it. Uh, so if we start here, we'll go like this. Uh, and then we come up the back of it like that. Uh, and then I think it was, how many more did I want to go here? Four. And then across. And then we've got a little gap for a couple more here. Uh, I think so. I want to... Something like this, I think, is the right way. Um, maybe I've gone too far, but that looks quite cool. I like that. Um, and we can go with that so we can build those up. And we've got the Schnapps Distillery as well connected. And that looks pretty good in my mind. Um, so let me just uh, do the same here with the field. I uh, don't think I can... Oh, I can do it, but that's fine. Uh, and then I can just go one more. There we go. I think that's right. There we go. Anyway, that's fine. They're ready to go. Uh, again, it's just workers now we need to get again. So again, it's always workers. We've got to keep on top of them. Let's go with another group and another group here as well. And let's prepare for another group as well. Uh, I know there's going to be a double road through here. That's good. I like that for now. Things will change. Things will change as always. Um, I'm happy with that. So let's go and upgrade these. I'll have another group here. Uh, uh, and let's spill as much as we can. There we go. That's going to be plenty of workers. Let's just put an eye on this because we want to always. So we're, we're good with fish, we're good with schnapps, and we're good with work clothes as we are. So I'm happy with that. Although we are missing goods for this at the moment. Because uh, the farmer workforce is still too late. We just got to wait for that to kind of get up and running. So we're also going to need a fire station. Uh, very important with Schnapps distilleries is having a fire station um, because without a fire station, this will probably explode and then we'll have a big issue on our hands, which we want to try and avoid if we can. Um, and then finally, we're going to need a pub for work, uh, for farmers and then we're good with farmers. So I'm going to delete this road now. And I'm going to put the pub as a potential to fit in there. There we go, that, that does fit perfectly. And that's going to kind of set us, uh, we need 10, 10 wood for that, but we're kind of set now in a little block. This is not the most ideal block in the world. And later on, we're going to expand this and make it into one big kind of like city block. Uh, but for now, it's a really good start. So let's build that pub and we have everything we need for farmers. They are prepared now. Everything is done. The only thing I think of is we get another fire station uh, to cover the whole of the city. So I would like to put it somewhere in here somewhere where it kind of covers everything um so maybe we go like something like just like that for now could we the town will burn down sometimes and i don't think i've ever seen these burn down so i don't think i need to ever worry about them but the town and the schnapps distilleries for sure grain farms 
100% burnt down all the time, it's really annoying. Um, so we've got Madame Kahina's over here. So that's where we go and we can like get some quests and things. Let's just get a quest from her straight away. If she'll give us the quest, there we go. Uh, she's literally picking up Flotsam, which is nice. Archie's over here, he also gives you a lot of quests. We're now just waiting for the soap uh, guy, the prison, because um, we're going to use the soap guy once we get pigs and we can actually really start to make some money. At the moment, we're not really making any money. Just, there he is. So we found him. So we need to do his quests as well. So we're looking good. So I think we're in a position now where we could probably start to upgrade into workers. I think shortly. Let me just buy those last ones. So how far away? Still waiting for work clothes. Something's going on here. No warehouse in range. They're here. It's here. Oh, it hasn't got a street. That's a bit stupid of me really, isn't it? There we go. I didn't actually build a street for it. There we go. So we're good there. We've got that. So we've finally got them working. So we're going to have to wait a little while for that to get going. So in the meantime, we can carry on uh, preparing. So I'm going to try and double our production of uh, lumber. So I'm going to go up here a bit. Uh, and I'm just going to put like a, a little group of them in here. And it's going to have a warehouse slap bang in the middle. Um, uh, let's see, let's go like this and like this. And then we'll bring the street into here somewhere. Like that, there we go, perfect. Um, and we're just going to upgrade that now and get all of these going, um, if it will let me. There we go. And then what we could do is down here, we can then expand up and put in a couple more of these. We need three more. And that's going to basically have doubled our lumber production, which is great because we need lumber. Lumber is really important. So the more lumber we have, the better. But that's a really good position for us to be in now. Um, we have also have another quest over here. So finding and collect stray dogs is really easy. You just go zoom right in on the town and you just look for these giant dogs um, that are around somewhere. You just got to find them. Um, they're always, there they are. Gone. And then we get a mate who we can equip in the ship which gives us um, some repair, which is nice. We could use that for sure. Uh, I think our ship's just arriving actually. Just in time, so that's great. So we've gone around the whole island. Uh, we've had, uh, found all the, the little islands on the outskirts. Um, and now we're just going to go and uh, put that in our flagship. There we go. Uh, can go in there. There we go. So now our ship basically upgrades itself. It fixes itself. So let's go for a quick... Uh, well, let's go down here and get the flotsam, which is over here. Let's go pick that up. And then we'll take that back to Madame Kahina. So that's a really simple, simple task. We can get started on some quests because we need money. Money is really important, so we're going to keep going on that. Let's just quickly check how we're getting on. So we're good with fish, we're good with snaps, we're good with work clothes now. So we should, should be able to upgrade our, our villagers into workers at any point soon. Uh, they're pretty much almost there. So we're just waiting for uh, the less of the work clothes to get, get in here. We have plenty of workers, so I'm really, really like wanting to upgrade now. I'm hoping anytime soon we should be able to upgrade. So the flagship's heading over. We've got this island as well, so at the moment I'm not too fussed about what to do on this island. I would like to start kind of getting some plantations and stuff growing, but I don't think we need to just yet. Because we, we, we've got grapes here, we've got red peppers, and we've got hops. So we've got plenty of spaces to do lots of farming. So I'm really looking forward to getting onto that as well. But over here, and also I'll let you guys name these villages as well. Um, I'm not going to be able to do too many episodes in one go. Um, so it's going to give you guys plenty of time to name things. Um, so you, you can you can name them if you want in the comments. Just let me know. Um, that's not a problem with me. Um, here we're going to need to upgrade our... Um, warehouse but we need to upgrade to workers first we didn't need to upgrade that and um, we're still waiting what what's happening here what i'm going to do though in the meantime is we're going to set some limits here on our fish so i want to keep a minimum of 50 in stock okay that's my minimum and then anything over the minimum i want to sell 
That way we can make some money. Same with schnapps. I'd like to keep a stock of 50. I'm saying 50 because I want a kind of high limit to start with. Um, because to start with, we want to kind of grow rather than sell. So we need to, I'm just going to set the same limit again for work clothes. This George. And that means that every time we go over that limit, we can then sell, um, which is great. Any chance now of upgrading? Any chance? They should have everything they need. I'm just waiting for these work clothes. They're on 100%. There we go. Right, we've upgraded finally. So we've upgraded to these workers. They're pretty cool. Look at them. Nice buildings. Nice. So they provide us with new things. They give us extra buildings, extra uh, things we can buy. So if we go into the workers tab, you can see here we have bricks, sausages, trade unions, bread, churches, sales, some harbours. So this is giving us um, more things to do, basically, which is really nice. So let's zoom in again. Let's get ourselves to go upgrading. Um, so I want to upgrade the inner circle. There we go. So let's upgrade the inner circle now. We've got 70 workers. Uh, 80 workers. So that's good. I, I like that idea. So we're going to get some bricks up and running. So let's go over here. And then we've got two brick pits. So let's go to the first bricks. Brick, first clay pit, shall we say. Um, and let's just patch onto there. It's going to reduce our uh, ability over there. We'll get that clay pit up and running. Um, and then we can. what we can do is we can combine this. Uh, I'd like to... Maybe we just do a little road like that to a warehouse, which is going to go there. And then we're going to get two brick factories, which are going to go like this. Now, why am I doing two brick factories? Because uh, one clay pit is 30 seconds, one brick factory is one minute. So every time, every minute, we produce two clay to their one brick. So then we need two of those so we can produce the same number, which is what we want. So let's do that. Let's get the upgrade and we'll upgrade those as well. And there we go, we've got, we need way more workers anyway, so let's keep going with our upgrades. There we go, we're in a good place. Now we're gonna start producing bricks, and bricks is our second, uh, it's basically our second thing we're gonna build, our uh, second uh, resource that we can build with. Um, so we need those for sure. So then we can then start to focus on things like sausages, uh, trade unions, and bread, and getting everything going um, for the workers. Because if we have to build, like for example, to be able to build a slaughterhouse, we need bricks. That's something that we need to think about when we're doing our creation. Uh, we've got another quest over here from George, uh, which is basically sustained fish. So I don't think we can have any issues. He's already got a shipyard, it's crazy. Uh, so we just picked up the flotsam and we're on the way to Madame Kahina, so we'll be there shortly. Right, so, now we're getting some bricks in. Uh, it's taking a little while, it will take a while to get going because they were coming from this warehouse, but this warehouse is now gone. Uh, so we should be able to start building with that. Let's build some more farmers so we can actually sustain the amount of um, bricks we are doing. So let's go back to the farmers. Let's, let's build another set of three and uh, that's a little bit of an awkward position now, isn't it? Yeah, let's delete that line. Let's do that for now. Not my most ideal position, uh, and we want to uh, move all of this over here. And that one as well. Over there. And then we can build our little path here, just so we can actually get to all these workers. And then we can upgrade all of those. Can't keep it a and there we go, we've completed the quest for Madame Kahina, so all is good. And we should be fine with this one. I'm not too fussed about that, so where is our ship? Let's go for a sail through here, and then back. And then I'm just gonna go back to my island, there we go. All right, let's keep going. Um, we're not in the greatest position yet. We will be soon, but we just got to keep on going with our buildings. Um, so we've got 20 more workers. So let's start building our sausages. So sausages, again, uh, the ideal way of doing this is probably um, getting a warehouse. So if I hit W, get a warehouse over here somewhere. 
Uh, and then we're going to build two small houses next to each other. Yeah, this is just planning, so we're not we're not actually building it just yet. And then we're going to build like a little road around it, like that. Uh, oh, I didn't want to build the road around that because I wanted to put the farm there. And then we're going to get the pigs. And to do the pig farms, we need a little. We're probably going to put a road in here. Then we're going to put the pig farm. Uh, probably something like one there, and then turn it and one there, and then we're going to put the fields around them again. So we're going to try and make it look as nice as possible. So it's like one, two, three, four, and then twist it around five, and then we go one there. Um, oh, it's the wrong pig farm, that's why. Uh, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. There we go, perfect. And then that's going to slide right in there like this. Perfect, and I'm really happy with that setup, so I'm going to put it right there. And I'm actually going to turn that into a stamp. Because um, <laughs> I like that. There you go, that can be... Uh, I'm just going to call that pig sausages, yeah, sausages is... Was right, so I don't know why. It, oops. Uh, only problem is, is then you can do that. So there we go. So you can see, I can now just put that down if I want to expand. I've got the chance to expand now, which is really nice. Uh, let's get that as well. So let's get the uh, warehouse upgraded. Uh, let's we'll get the farms going now. We've got the pay, we've got the people for it. We're just waiting for the bricks. So bricks is going to take a little bit longer. We've got the farmers, so we can actually start building our pigs, which is really great. And we have that now got slaughterhouses up and running, and we're in a really good position. Uh, next up, we can then focus on doing our next thing. We don't need trade unions, uh, not yet. Um, but the next thing will be uh, probably going into bread. But we can't do bread yet, we need more workers. Uh, so we just need to keep upgrading. So let's get some upgrading. Now, why would I want to upgrade them when they don't need them? Well, the thing is why you want to upgrade them is because they actually pay more money. So the more workers you have, the more money you get. As you can see, now we're making a positive balance. And um, we can actually get one of the slot houses up and running now. So we want to upgrade as much as we can, um, but as long as we don't go below the farmer workforce. So we want to kind of keep it going like that. Our town looks pretty cool so far. We've also got the work front, we've got the farmers in the back. Um, and I think everybody should still have access to everything they need, which is great. I think, are they too far away? They're getting too far away from the market now. So we probably need a new market, which is what we can do. We can put a market here. Uh, make sure I'm in the right position. There we go, so I can upgrade that. That's gonna make them a lot happier. Um, so let's just put something. Like this. I can put some more houses here. Uh, let's actually do that better. I, and I'm trying not to make it too like too pretty to start with, and just kind of getting it done. But I can't help myself. <laughs> I have to make sure it looks nice to start with. There we go. Right, so that's good. Now we've got. Uh, we're just waiting for the bricks to come in for this next slaughterhouse. But we can now start making bread, which is what we want to do next. So to make bread, we need uh, three different things. We need wheat, uh, which is what everyone's uh, once every one minute. Flour, which is once every 30. So we need uh, two of these for one of these. And then bakeries, which is every one again. So we need two of those once again. So we can start for a grain farm. So how are we going to do this? Um, probably the best way, we're going to go further out for this, way further out is we're going to get a warehouse again and we're going to put it somewhere like this. I'm going to go up to this views now so I can kind of see it a bit better. Um, and we're going to go for a flour mill like in the middle. Um, actually, I want that one down, one down. Uh, and then we're going to build like a road around it. Like that. Uh, and then what we can do actually is I'm going to delete those two for now. Uh, and then we're going to be our grain farms and we're going to put one. Oh, okay, we've done the George's mission. 
We're going to put those two down like that. Then we're going to put the bakeries on there and on there. Now, this is not what you would probably do in real life. The bakery would be in the town so people could go. But in this game, it doesn't work like that. You know, people just get stuff from the warehouse. Uh, so then we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five across. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, six up from the warehouse. So this is the warehouse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks about right. And then we're going to come across here. We're going to fill in all of that. And we're going to go like that. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's right. That's the right amount. And then on this one, we're going to cover the rest. So we're just going to do that. Uh, which I think is one more, one more. There we go. I'm confident it's ready to go. And that is my next stamp. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to stamp that as well. Um, there we go. And that one's going to be called bread. And I'm happy with that. I, I think, are you guys happy with that? I mean, I am. So I'm happy with that. So we just, we can then draw the road down, connect it on, and then we're good. Let's have a look at the newspaper. Um, it's because we met Anne Harlow, so we've got a 25% riot chance. Let's go consumerism. Let's go. Censorship is not always. I'm happy with that. Same damn book. Okay, thanks, Josh. Right, so we've got to carry on. Um, let's get our warehouse built. Uh, we're going to get this grain farm built and we're going to get that built and that built. Uh, we can get that one built. We need a bit more bricks for this bakery. Yeah, five for the bakery. So I'm liking that. It's a pretty good setup, I think. And I'm happy with that. So, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Because, I mean, obviously, I'm making this up as I go along. Um, I've been following, obviously, uh, some ideas I had, which I've written down. Um, but it's pretty much makes it look quite nice. Um, we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you like these ideas or not? I'm just going to build this anyway because I think we're going to need them quite soon. So let's have a look at our thing. So we've got, we need another fishery. Uh, we're Goober Schnapps now. We need another work close uh, set up and we are good with everything else at the moment. So work close, let's get back into the setup for here. So what did we do here? We did uh, one of these, one of these, one of these. So let's go back and have a look at what we did. Uh, so let's go with... Another framework knitters over here. So let's go with that. And then we'll go for another f uh, another farm just here. And then we'll get another three fields, which are gonna go like that. There should be a mirror of that one. Um, and then we can get in the road. Um, I'm just gonna build out the rest of the road that I want here. That should be good enough. I don't think we need any of that. And then we should be able to then build the second version of this. Uh, so if I take the CT, the C key, and put the next one in, uh, I think it goes like here. And then we can put in our three fields here as well. So they're going to be. There's going to be one here, one there, and one there. Another frame where knitters goes there. Uh, we might have actually gone slightly off, but I don't, this, I don't care right now. Um, and then another one there. And then the last sheep farm will go there. And these sheeps will go here, here, and here. And then we should be able to just get a uh, road that goes all the way around. It's not quite right, but it's kind of right, and I'm happy with that. So this stamp out as well, just to have it down. Oh, I think I deleted the other one, didn't I? Right, okay. Oh, no, I didn't. And this one is uh, close. Now we have bakeries. We have... Oh, I see what I've done. I put it in a little group. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, so there we go, so that's there. We're going to get these because we need these ones for now. 
Uh, we need more fish, don't we, as well. So let's get the fish in as well. So let's go fishing. I'm going to build two more fishing. We need a lot more farmers, so I'm just going to put them down for now. And then we can get cracking on building some more farmers. So let's go with... Uh, don't expect me to this car. Yeah, thanks for that car. Nice lad. So we'll build a little road up here. Uh, a road that goes up here. I'm just doing double roads here for now. They'll, they'll go later. There we go. And then we can get these filled in. There we go. There's another load of workers, farmers coming in. We just need a lot of farmers at the moment because we have a lot of farmer related buildings at this time um but we'll get to that so can we upgrade this yet uh 20 bricks no not yet so all of these should be happy they should get everything they need eventually we've got a lot more coming in so do we need more uh five uh we need more snaps now uh more work clothes again um so we need to get on top of that so we need uh let's get another upgrade of these in fact, let's do these as well. We've got a lot, a lot of workers, a lot of farmers coming in. Um, don't need any more bread right at this time. Um, and we need to upgrade the schnapps production as well. So, you know, we're, we're coming up a lot, getting a lot of people coming in at the moment. So we, what we can do is we can actually pour some buildings to kind of help us out here. Let's pause these guys. That's going to reduce some of our... Uh, income uh, for our wood, but it's going to help us with our workforce for the time being. Um, and we can get rid of these pig farms for now as well. That's going to help us a little bit with our income. So once these guys are a little bit happier, um, we can then start to think about producing more. Uh, I don't think the farmers need to. Yeah, these need farmers as well, so we'll cut them off. That's helping a lot, actually. These guys now can actually work. Uh, we do need to upgrade the warehouse then as well here, but we will do it eventually. We're now just waiting for all these workers to kind of settle in. They obviously three of 13, and that's just purely because they're waiting for certain goods. Fish should be good. They should be getting plenty of fish now. We've got the workers for fish, so it should be pretty good. Uh, where's my ship? It should be here. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's still a Madden Kahinas. It never actually came back. All right, fair enough. Um, so we're getting good, we're looking good. Um, just waiting for those workers to come in now and we are going to be good. Um, still turned on to the uh, ship, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. There we go, 10 to go, and then we'll be back up and running and we can then start to plan out more. We can build more as well, so but it's just obviously going to, the more we build, the more our production increases. So we need to keep that into a consideration. There we go. So we just got to keep kind of thinking about our production at the moment. There we go. In fact, we can build, delete that now and build that like that. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. There we go. Might actually let me build that then. I don't know why. There we go. All right, so let's carry on. Um, We've got 30 now, so we can actually unlock uh, some more workers. Where did we turn off the workers? Uh, in the lumberjacks. So let's put them back on. Perfect. And let's turn you on. Let's get our wood production in. We've got plenty of wood now. We could start expanding onto the other island with our wood. We could send the ships over and, and expand them. Um, but not that bothered just yet. Uh, let's think what we want to do right now. We're just waiting for workers to come in. So let's just keep putting some more workers in. Um, let's do that. 
We'll just keep building in the workers. Sorry, farmers. I keep saying workers. I know what I mean. There we go. So we've got plenty coming in. But we'll just have a little look at where we are. Um, so we're good with fish. We're not good with schnapps. We need to increase the schnapps production. We've got plenty of workers at our workplace. Um, and everything else for workers is all right right now because we're not really bothered with the workers just yet. So we need to increase the schnapps. So I think we just take a stamp of this. Uh, once again. And we then take that and then copy it. We can, what we can do is we could almost fit it in there. Can we fit it in here? Not quite. Uh, okay, we can just move it over here. Not a problem. We'll just put it over here. There we go. Okay, so we've got the work, the, the schnapps productions as well in place. So there we go. We can now. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shame. Okay. Well, I upgraded the warehouse and I didn't mean to, but we did it now, so who cares? Uh, okay, back to our business. So we're just going to keep expanding. We're obviously expanding very quickly. But well, we're going to have to to start with because we need uh, our first town to be really up and running to catch up with everybody else because they've got bonuses that we don't have. Uh, so that looks good. So we're just producing that extra schnapps now. So we're looking here, we can now produce seven schnapps, which is great. And we're only need five, so we're looking good there. We can produce seven workloads and we're going to need five, so we're good there as well. Um, at the moment, sausages, we're good. We don't need too many sausages. And we give it bread. We don't need too much. Bread. Happy with that right now. Um, hesitant to do any upgrades right now, although we need to because we need our bats um, because our tax is going up. Uh, but we don't really have the farmers to be able to produce anything <laughs> or anything else. So let's get one of the pig farms up and running. That's going to at least be going to that slaughterhouse, which is going to produce the sausages, which is what we need anyway. How are we getting on with our productions? So we, we're pretty much almost there with fish. So we can always start to get our fish um, up and running there. Uh, so I don't think that there is a quest on the map over here. So let's go grab that. It's deeply uh, Pick up Flotsam. That's nice and easy. So let's go and pick that up. It's literally all around his island, which, you know, lazy as always. These, these people get us to do the work. They'd rather pay for us to do it. There we go, and then we can come round, and there we go, job done. Uh, it's back to our island, so I'm just going to go back to the main bit, there we go. How are we getting on here? Um, oh yeah, we've got loads of workers coming in now, loads of farmers coming in, so we can now start this up and running. We can get this farm going as well, I think, and probably this farm as well, which is great. Um, let's get the flour mill going, and we'll get this other bakery going when we have five bricks. And then we'll have bread coming in and that'll look pretty good. Um, so I think what we can do now is we can actually upgrade, possibly upgrade this Benzer. Um, what do these guys need? They're waiting for work clothes, aren't they? Your work clothes takes a little while for that to get going. This could do with upgrading, I think. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, so I think we're in a really good place. We're going to move on to sales in a minute once I kind of stabilise the workers. Um, we're going to six of three, three, six, five, eight, four, eight. So we're just waiting for that to kind of catch up. Uh, two, good. Then that's zero of one so far, so we're good. And we've got plenty more workers coming in here now, so I'm happy with all of that. So it's, what's next on our list? So next up we have uh, the church we need to build, but we have we need to get some more bricks. Uh, the sail making. The sail making again is a is a one to one ratio. So again, we're just going to get some sheep farms. Um, so let's think about this again. We need a warehouse. Sheep farm uh, is produces. I, I believe the sheep farms are what were they again? They were three. Well, no, yeah, three. So again, if we go for something like, uh, is that in line? I don't think that's in line, is it? No, it's not. Uh, 
then that's in line. And then we go for one, two, three. I put the sail makers in here. Oh, we're slightly off. One, two, three. And then we can build our thing like that. I can go there. I can go around. That looks good to me. And then we can build our sheep farm again. And then we can build our sail makers when we get enough bricks. Um, so we now can then reduce those sales. All the credit for any finds I make here. Yeah, Such fine. Impressive foliage. Bent is usually your biggest ally in the game, to be honest. She is the person that you want to keep on your good side because she can be very powerful, but she's also really, she works really well on being friendly with you. So if you can be friendly with her, then everything's good, to be honest. There we go. Completed his quest. That's another bit of cash in the bank. So let's bring uh, the Endeavour back. For now. So we find some more quests. Actually, uh, there is a quest from Eli, which is great. Let's go do the same thing again. Let's go over there. Uh, okay, so Madam Kahina is picking up our fish now, which is nice, um, which is what we want. Um, so I'm going to build the bakery first because that keeps ourselves in a good position. And now we're going to need to upgrade some of the workers as well. These guys are ready to upgrade. These guys can upgrade. These guys are starting to want to upgrade now, which is nice. You can upgrade. You guys can all upgrade. That's good. Happy with that. Another worker quest. Find and collect old Harold. So you just got to look around for him. Uh, he should be pretty. Oh, wait, there he is. As I say, he should be pretty obvious. And we've got 20 tallow, which is great, but we don't need it right now. We don't need it right now. We can start to build it in a second, but we don't need it. We need to be able to build um, steel first, which is going to require us to have a lot more workers. So we're, we're not quite there yet. Uh, we need these sails first, really. So we're just waiting for those 10 bricks to come in. We could actually double the brick production, which is a good idea. So we can actually do that. So let's do the same thing again. So let's do that and we'll get the two brick factories up and running and we'll just draw a line that goes all the way down catch up with that. and then we can upgrade these there we go that's perfect so we've got double the brick production um, and we could actually speed up the brick productivity but it is not great for the workers and we could also do that for the brick factories as well um, but again, not not worth it. If we had three brick, um, three three clay deposits, that might be useful. But the two, we could just make it a one to one ratio. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. We just gotta wait for those bricks to come in now. Uh, let's go for a quick check again. Like I like want to do this all the time. It's one of the things I do all the time. So get used to it. <laughs> um, so we're good with sausage. We're not good good with sausages actually. So we do need to expand our sausages. Uh, so we need to do that. So we just need our other slaughterhouse. There we go. That's that done. That's expanded. You should see that upgrade already to two. There we go. We're in a real good position. Okay, so we have a quest from Benta. Let's go grab that. If she will let me do it. There we go. We don't even have to trade. It's I feel better already. So that was fine. We've got trade rights, which is great. Um, shush. So we just need to take, okay, thanks Carl. We need to take 10 uh, tons of sails to uh, Benta. So that's really easy. And that can be done when we have 10 tons of sails. So if I click sails for now and pin them, when we've got 10, then we can take them. But at the moment, I think we're producing like one, one sail. Of, uh, I don't know if you can even see it on here. Have we even built a sail maker? No, we haven't. So I'm not even building any right now. So it's going to be one that we're going to, it's going to take us a little while. Oops. We're almost there. Pick up the flotsam. So there's the first one. Uh, the other ones must be in this fog of war somewhere. 
We're just going to do this for Eli. But, Let's see if you're as principled as you claim. Uh, Nate George has given us a quest as well. Rescue three prisoners or rescue the priest. Well, I'm going to rescue the priest, I guess. Because George is basically doing that to test how nice we are as a person. Um, so there's one. There's the next one. The next one is over here. Okay. Uh, so let's get the sail makers. Yeah, 10. Still 10. So we're still waiting for the bricks. We've run out of gabbins. Waiting for the clay pit to keep producing. Oh, one of those things that just it takes a little while. We can actually build more ships soon. Um, we need 25, but we can start preparing for that already. So I'd like to put it probably down here, to be honest. Uh, how far away can we get it? Like there, maybe? Um, and we can connect it up like that. And then we, once we get this, we'll be able to actually build ships, which would be quite nice. Uh, so, how are we getting on with this? Uh, so let's pick up this last bit of flotsam, go back to Eli, which is just here. Um, and then we can deliver that quest. Uh, oh, we've got to deliver over here, actually. So once we've done that, then we can go and rescue the priest. Ready to... <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the one we want. It's a little away from where we are, but it's not a problem. Um, and then we can then finally get on with our sail making, which we now can do. There we go. So now we're producing like one sail a minute, probably uh, two sails a minute. So, you know, we've got 20 minutes, sorry, 20 minutes, five minutes, we'll have enough. Uh, so that's good. Okay, um, let's carry on. So do we need anything else in the harbour? We could build like these, but we don't have weapons. Our master's office, not really need. Depot we don't need for sure, because we're not producing enough yet. Um, do anything. So let's go with our next one, which is steel. Now, steel beams is something that we are going to struggle a lot with. Um, first of all, iron. So I can plan these out. So we've got one iron there, one iron up here, and one iron here. Um, so we need one of these every 15 seconds, and then one of these every 30 seconds. So we make four a minute here, and we make two a minute here. So we need one of these for every two of those. Uh, so two of these for every one of those. So we can go with one here, and then like, I just put them together because they both reduce together. They don't actually diminish, so that's good with us. So they can go there. Uh, they also need a warehouse, obviously. And so does this guy. Uh, so we can go with that. There we go. We're going to need to move this in a minute, to be honest. So let's get a small warehouse and let's get the iron mine up and running. That's going to take 50 of our workers. That's 50 workers gone straight away. But like I said, one of those produces one every four, four a minute. And these take two a minute. So we need to get both of these up and running as well. Um, so we can go with both of these. Uh, we can when we get enough bricks. And that's going to start producing our furnace based resource to be able to make our furnaces. Now furnaces produce um, a lot of unattractiveness. So we need to think about that as well. Um, but we are going to need to relocate all of this. So what we can do is pick all this up and push it out over here. Uh, there we go. And this one as well. Uh, we can go there. And then we can run this down here. Uh, oh, that's because I've deleted it. There we go. And now we can do that. Uh, where's our ship? There he is. 
Right, it's got it. So let's go back to... Oh, it's right in our harbour anyway. We can do that. So that's good. That is good. Okay, so we need to get to the end of my our episode timing. So let's get our charcoal burners. Charcoal kilns up and running. There's one. We still have no connection to the harbour. There we go. So these guys are much further out now, which is great. Which is what we like to see. Because then they're kind of out of our way now, which is good. We're producing a lot of wood, so uh, we can actually sell the wood too as well if we wanted to, which is what I think I'm going to do. So let's set a minimum stock of 50, not 500. And sell the excess. Great. You got something for me, haven't you? There we go, that's that quest for George done. And now we're finally on our last quest, which is for um, Benta. For the episode, anyway. We'll have a lot more quests coming later. We've got some one for Archie to do in a minute as well. Um, so we'll do that next time. Um, so everything is looking pretty good over here. I'm just waiting for that last bit of bricks. We've got our charcoal kiln in. So we're now producing the same charcoal per... Um, so four and three. So it's pretty much the same. I'm happy with that. Uh, again, we don't have a connection over here, so let's do that. There we go. Uh, now, we need the furnace. So the furnace produces once every 30 seconds as well. Um, so we're going to need to kind of move that away slightly. So let's put them over here, because they do produce a lot of pop, uh, pollution. So I want to get four lined up, and I only, the only reason I'm getting four lined up is because I know the perfect ratio is four of these to four of these. Uh, which sounds a bit weird, but it is true. Because then we can then get four of these. And that will work out perfectly. I think that's right anyway. So they produce one every four, four a minute. And they produce one every one and a half minutes. So if we had four of those, that would be one, three, six, six, and then that would be to make six of them. We would need uh, so four, four, six, seven, eight. We need six of these. I think <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, oops. Oh, uh, come on, Ryan. There we go. So we will need a lot of them. Um, and then we're going to need a few more charcoal kilns to be able to produce that much as well. But we'll start off slowly. We're not going to do like crazy amounts just yet. So we're almost up to 10. So this is where um, we're going to finish off our episode by delivering these 10, uh, these 10 goods. There we go. We're going to take that to Benta and deliver it straight to her over there. So we're going to leave her doing that and even the ship doing that, sorry, not her doing that. Um, and then we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how much we need for a furnace. So a furnace is 100 workers. We don't have 100 workers, so we need to do some upgrades. Uh, so there we go. I actually built it by accident. There we go, we're upgraded. Um, so let's keep building and let's keep going. Uh, so we need more farmers as well. So let's just create a few more farmers down as well. Um, so let's grab a bunch more farmers. Uh, I need to get in closer when I do this. I like to be kind of higher up to be able to see what's going on. But it also makes my PC a little bit laggy. <laughs> so I need to kind of avoid doing that if I can. There we go. And then we can upgrade all of these guys. All right, so that's good. That is good. Um, they've got full output storage now because we've actually got loads of timber. Um, looking good. We've got enough for a furnace. So the furnace now is producing uh, two a minute. So that's more than enough of these. So we're good so far on that. So we could do another one. Uh, on there for sure. Uh, how are we looking? So six, good, 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 uh, good on sausages, good on bread. Uh, sales we're reducing two a minute. I think we're looking good. 
There we go. And we finished with our quest for Benta. So I'm going to get my ship to come back here and then that's going to do us for today, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I mean, we're starting off. It's going to be slow, but we will get much more involved as it goes on. And we're not playing with any DLC, so the game is going to be relatively short. Um, thanks, Benta. So Benta's obviously gifted me. So again, if you also want to become a member of the channel, don't forget you can join. Um, that is one thing you can do. So thanks for Benta to remind me for that. Um, also, you subscribe and get me to that 1,000 because I'll be really, really thankful if I get there. Um, and we'll do something special when I do as well. So let's uh, finish the episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you on the next one when I come back for some more Anno 1800. Bye.